I'm Adrienne Schneer, Advancement Coach and Strategist, Lawyer and Professor, and you're listening to the Advancement Spot Podcast, the podcast all about academic and professional skills, strategy, and mindset to help you make big moves to achieve a life beyond your wildest dreams. If you're looking to accomplish more and take your next steps with supportive and experience-informed strategies, look no further. Let's get started. Hi, and welcome to the Advancement Spot Podcast. I'm your host, Adrian Schneer, and I am so excited that you are here taking time out of your busy day to spend some here with me. Today, what we are going to be talking about is how to be productive over the summer. And I think that this is going to be a really useful episode for many of us who are maybe graduating or in between years of university or who are thinking about applying to a new program and everything that we need to do for it. We are hot off of the heels of a successful mastering academic applications from scratch to submission launch here at Apply Yourself. And so I think something that is really at the forefront of our minds is what can we do now to help us in our applications, to help frame our experience in our applications so that we can get in. And so I want to first start by defining productivity and what that means, because productivity doesn't mean the same thing to everybody. And so I think that actually one of the things that came out of one of our coaching calls the other day with the Success Society was that our parents have different ideas of what productivity means sometimes than we do. Or sometimes, you know, parents, for example, need to see us working all the time in order to feel like we're getting something done. And one of the really interesting things that came out of that conversation was the fact that sometimes rest is productive and it absolutely is. Sometimes doing quote, nothing is productive if we're on the verge of burnout or if we know that we need a rest in order to be able to keep on being productive to build this life beyond our wildest dreams. And so one of the interesting things that came up was this idea that, you know, we're studying, maybe we're studying at home and we have, you know, maybe it's exam time, you know, exams are in two, three weeks and our parents want us to be studying all the time. Oh, you should be at your desk. You should be studying. Don't you have the LSAT in a few weeks? Don't you have the MCAT in a few weeks? Don't you have exams? Don't you have assignments? You should be at your desk. Well, the thing is you sh- you should be at your desk, you know, sometimes. And the more that you are ready and in a mental place to work, the more productive you'll be. But if you need a break, that's okay too. And you shouldn't just be taking breaks when you're on the verge of burnout. You need to be avoiding that. And so you need to be taking breaks all the way through. And so what that looks like is actually getting in touch with you, your body, your mind, how you feel outside of what other people expect of you and how they expect you to feel or how they would expect themselves to feel if they were in your situation. And so we want to make sure that this idea of productivity is a holistic idea. It's a holistic concept that considers not only what you have to do, but where you are in your journey and how you're feeling because you can't burn yourself out. You can't work yourself to the bone because that is actually when we see high levels of substance use and abuse and toxic behaviors and vices. And I've seen this firsthand from students and professionals alike. You know, I have said before in our coaching calls and and on this podcast that, you know, I've been called to the emergency department for professionals who have completely burned out and have resorted to substance use and abuse over years in order to deal with how they feel. And so what we want to do here at Apply Yourself and what we do is we focus on health-focused strategies, sustainable strategies, so that you can be your ultimate highest version of yourself, your most elevated version of yourself, building and creating and living a life beyond your wildest dreams while being healthy and sustainable about it, because it is absolutely, totally, totally possible. And so this idea of productivity, I think we first need to define productivity and and you know i'm not like using a dictionary or anything i'm speaking from experience and from opinion productivity is something that 
helps us to determine how much progress we're making, how much progress we're making, and whether or not we are moving closer to or further away from our ultimate goals. And the reason that I like to define productivity this way is because sometimes working is going to move us closer to our goals. But if we're working at the point of burnout, that's going to result either that we're going to be in a standstill or that we're moving away from our goals because we start to turn to unhealthy and toxic vices. And so productivity could be a break. Productivity could be walking away for a minute if you have the time and you know taking a vacation if you can. Or sometimes productivity might be meeting with a team to get back on track, meeting with your supervisor to get back on track. And so when we talk about productivity, it's really context dependent and circumstance dependent. And I think that that's a really important, a really important distinction to make that productivity doesn't always look like doing, it doesn't always look like we're on a hamster wheel and it doesn't always look like others expect it to look for us. And so this is another reason why here at Apply Yourself, we focus so heavily on you and how you feel. We don't bottle it up because as we know, that just explodes like a volcano later. So we actually process how we feel in order to be productive and it works. It works. What can I say? It works. And so let's talk now about productivity over the summer. How can we be productive over the summer? And like I said, the time that we're recording this, our our members and students are just wrapping up the semester. Maybe they've got a trip planned. Maybe they've got work planned. Maybe they're still looking for work. Maybe they're starting to take summer classes. Whatever the case may be, if you're in our community, you want more for yourself. You want more for yourself and you want to work towards it with a supportive and encouraging community that operates under this 100% non-competition based philosophy, meaning that we learn how to focus on ourselves and we learn how to support each other from an abundance and growth perspective rather than from a scarcity and competition perspective or mindset. And so when we're talking about how, what we're going to do, for example, over the summer to be productive, It might look like a job. It might look like summer school. It might look like both. It might look like taking some time off. And the question that I always get is, how do I spend my time over the summer? Actually, I've gotten this question a lot more in in recent weeks, especially over our strategy calls that we've held with, with potential clients and current clients. What can I do to bolster my application? What can I do to make my application more, more, more compelling, to stand out? Number one, it's the way that you frame your experience. We know that here at Apply Yourself, and that's what we work so hard on. It's a really nuanced skill that we learn here. But in terms of the type of experience that you can get that helps you to stand out from the crowd, it really depends on you. And so I get all the time, you know, kids and parents coming to me, university age kids and parents coming to me saying, well, they want to go to law school. Should they work here or should they work there? Or should they do this kind of volunteering or that kind of volunteering? And the answer is your experience is what you make it. You might decide to travel for a month and your traveling for a month may open your eyes to a whole new world that ends up affecting directly the work that you do or that you propose to do in your applications, maybe for law school, maybe for med school, maybe for your master's or PhD or dental school. Maybe you've had a really meaningful experience with a community. Maybe you volunteered abroad and and maybe that opened your eyes to a whole area and a community that you could serve. And that's awesome, but you don't need to travel to do that. You could also do that right here at home, wherever home is for you. You could do that in your university town or in your hometown or wherever you find yourself. And you could get, you know, have get a job or a volunteer position that ends up being really meaningful to you. And so I think, you know, the answer to how do I be productive over the summer is number one, you have to think about what you're doing. You have to think about what you're doing and you have to think about what you're doing in the context of your life. I always say applications are not just about the applications themselves. They're about the rest of your life because if you're doing your applications properly, your whole life and what you want 
and that life that you want to create and live beyond your wildest dreams, that is informing how you write about yourself, how you think about yourself, how you think about and frame your experience, how you showcase the growth that you've experienced over time. And we do that here with our clients every single day. And part of that is being mindful about the choices that you're making. So number one is you've got to be really careful about the choices that you're making. Don't just do this or do that because a friend is doing it or because somebody told you to. Really think about what you want to do. And then when you move on to the process of actually doing it, there are a few things that you can do here. If you're being really intentional about what you're doing, then you're getting the significance out of your experience as it's happening. But sometimes we need to connect the dots at the end. So if you know you have, for example, you know, a six-week or 12-week practicum placement, sometimes you're so enthralled in the work that you can make the connections about the value and the significance of the experience afterwards. But a piece of advice that my clients really enjoy is just writing about your experience as it's unfolding, as you're going through it. And so some people might call it journaling. Some people might call it, you know, something else. I call it really sort of like contemporaneous reflecting, reflecting at the same time as the thing that is happening as, as what you're going through is happening. And there's value in that not just because you're actually being mindful and thinking about your experience as you're going through it, but also because you're able to look back on it when you're drafting your applications to actually see what you did when you're creating your CV and your resume with us, when you're creating your autobiographical sketch, when you're creating your personal statement, when you're creating your short answer questions, when you're creating your diversity statement or your supplementary materials, you're able to look back on the experiences that you had with such clarity because it's right there in front of you. You don't have to think to yourself, oh my God, what did I do? I was there for 12 weeks and now I can't remember what I did. I'm sure I did something. I spent all, all my time there. What did I do? And so by writing it down, it really helps to just stay on track and give yourself the tools that you need to do the heavy lifting later and make it not so heavy. So number one, be mindful about the opportunities that you are seeking. And they don't have to necessarily be in the area that you're hoping to work in. Sometimes the most fruitful experiences come from a different area that help you see another perspective. And so what I would encourage is for you to, I guess this is number three, what I would encourage you to do is take on and participate in and seek out experiences that you actually enjoy. Number one, they're so much easier to write about when you enjoy them. Number two, it's so much easier to connect the dots because what you find then is that your enjoyment is the common thread through everything that you do. Professional enjoyment, you know, obviously is the common thread between everything that you do, which makes it so much easier to then move to your personal statement, move to your autobiographical sketch. And before that, of course, your CV and your resume and all of your other documentation that you need. This also helps this whole process of thinking about this also helps with your interviews that you'll be doing if your program requires interviews, or even if you're applying to jobs and you're being interviewed for those jobs. And so I think that that is a really important sort of quick summation over how we can be productive during the summer. There's no one answer. There's no one answer. And you know, you might think to yourself, well, there's no one answer. Like there's no, you know, what am I going to do with that? But there's so much opportunity in that because you can make it what you want it to be. The opportunity is yours and you get to write the story. You get to frame it for somebody else. You get to frame it for yourself without having to worry about what is expected of you. Because as long as you're enjoying what you're doing, and as long as you're taking steps toward this life that you're creating beyond your wildest dreams, nothing is a waste of time. No no lesson is a waste. We shouldn't have any regrets because we can learn from every single thing that didn't go according to plan. And we can move forward in a way that we can really truly feel in alignment with ourselves and the opportunities that we're taking on and be mindful about them, be purposeful about them, be reflective about them and make sure, like I said, that you enjoy them because it is so much easier to reflect on them 
when you actually enjoyed them. Now, that's not to say that you're going to enjoy every single experience, but that should be your guidepost. It should be how you guide yourself. Is this something that is contributing positively to my mental health, to my well being, to my feelings of fulfillment? Is this contributing to my overall goals? That's really important. And part of, I, I guess we should enjoy what we mean, or sorry, we should define what we mean by enjoy. You know, it's not like we're talking about, you know, vacationing all the time. Like maybe we'd enjoy that. I don't know. I, for one, I would not enjoy vacationing all the time. I love working. And, and so it's actually a little hard for me to take time off and not work. And that's something that I'm working on. But, you know, when it comes to enjoyment, what I mean is that we feel in alignment, we feel fulfilled, and we feel as though we are taking steps toward our goals. We're feeling fulfilled. We're feeling, you're feeling like you're contributing to your future. And so when we're talking with friends, with parents, with ourselves about what we're going to do over the summer and how to be productive over the summer, I think it's really important that you get varied experiences, that you take some time to rest and you also take some time to work and you also take some time to do classes or volunteer work or whatever it is that you need to do. And you remain reflective the entire time. Now, if you're interested in chatting more with me about that, then head to the link in the show notes and book a call with me. I would love to chat and to see if you are ready maybe to become a part of this community and build this life beyond your wildest dreams through your personal and professional advancement every single step of the way. Thank you so much for joining me and we'll see you next time. Thanks for listening to the Advancement Spot podcast. If you heard something today that helped you get one step closer to achieving the amazing life you want, and you'd like to learn more about working with me, I'd love to hop on a call with you to see how we can help you. So follow me on Instagram at applyyourselfglobal and send me an email at hello at applyyourselfglobal.com. I'd love to hear from you. Remember to subscribe so you never miss an episode, leave this episode a review, and share this episode with somebody you think needs a boost of inspiration and actionable tools to help them succeed. Thanks for joining me and see you next week.